all right so every now and then we uh, we get I don't know these guys that need a little bit of love so here's what we're gonna do you guys customer that watches all our rib uh, boat restorations says Alfred can you fix this for us it's like I've had a sitting the tubes hold air the rub rail came off can you fix a rub rail and clean it up I said he's coming he's coming from far no bro we're gonna have to clean this we're gonna have to clean this what come on bro nobody wants to work anymore guys everybody wants to do a brand new tube you know what it is I'm gonna clean this I'm gonna clean this guys <laughs> what are you doing bro bro let's clean it all right guys I'm gonna clean it don't worry about it I'm gonna go ahead and uh I, all right so here's what I gotta do first I I wasn't expecting this so I don't have all the stuff that I need to clean but bro stop throwing things at me no respect anymore bro you know what it is because I haven't come to the shop a lot guys I gotta I gotta be back here more all right so let's go ahead and get this Avon cleaned up this this right here is a nightmare that's a nightmare right there all this stuff when people start inventing stuff that just makes it harder because now we have to sand here and we also got to sand the back of this as well so all right let's go watch out guys they're, they're throwing projectiles at us let's go all right so first step was to get the guys on board which you saw that was pretty successful uh but i don't know what do you guys think are we uh are we nearing amazingness guys and i've done multiple multiple videos on how i restore these and clean these so you guys if you want to see those videos check out my rib rib restoration playlist all right so this one still needs a lot more to go guys but this is the start we're getting it nice and cleaned up we're trying to see if we fix this entire boat before the customer comes because here's the thing right older gentleman and he's coming from pretty far so since he's coming from pretty pretty far we want to get him out of here today instead of having him you know come back go back pretty far and then come back on another date so it's kind of a little unexpected but you know all right so let's go well i would say so far we have a measurable difference so all that mold slash staining has been removed um let me go ahead and go to the other side so you guys can get a better shot i got this forklift in my way i don't know guys what do you guys think now here's what we're gonna do we're gonna remove this entire rub rail because to do it right we're gonna have to do that and uh fix it we're gonna we're gonna have to sand all this on the side and we're also gonna have to sand the side of the rub rail um, on the back side which is a scene so let's go ahead and do that process guys so i get i i no 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 why is it gonna come off easy carlos <laughs> because it's a pvc bro <laughs> I keep telling you, man, we need retubes. We don't have time to be doing this, bro. No, no, listen. I want, look, I want to show them what we got. Where are you going, bro? Today, today's the Avon week. Been Avon weeks for like the past two months. And we got, we also got another big boy that the, the Zodiac. They're gonna. Should I do a video on that one? You should, yeah. I think I should. I think I'm gonna do a video on that. On that, it's a big old Zodiac. Bro. I want to apologize in advance, bro. 
<laughs> hey, but it's clean, right? Look, you guys didn't think I was gonna clean it up as good. Yeah, look at that. Still needs a retube, but. I, look, it doesn't need a retube. It's a good tube. All right, so she's going into the shop now, guys. Uh, now here's what we gotta do. We gotta, we gotta sand. Oh, levántalo, levántalo, porque hay mucha agua, que tiene mucha agua. It's got a lot of water, guys. I mean, still gotta do some touch-ups on her, but I mean, it's a big difference already, guys. Now the customer, when he comes back, he's gonna flip out because we're doing this. He brought it this morning, so. Todavía te está liqueando, Wally. Levántalo, Wally. Yeah, we gotta raise it up a little bit. Huh? There you go. Imagine, imagine porpoising like that when you go out for the first time. Sí. I should, I should clean like this. She looks pretty, bro. Yeah. Okay, so that's over the, the edge of the rubber, so there's nothing we can do about that. So here's what we gotta do, guys. And if you're gonna try to do this at, at home for your boat, you gotta make sure you tape it off because when you, you sand, you're gonna ruin the good part of the hypalon and then you're gonna have a, an ugly stain. Carlos is there following the line. So here's here here's what's gonna happen, right? Carlos is gonna go ahead and sand the boat. We we, we were in a very limited time. We actually had to stop production on this guy, and then there's another two boats back there that we have to do. But since this gentleman came from far, we're gonna try to do everything together. Alright, so see the back of the rubber out here? All has to be cleaned up real, real good. Alright guys, so here's what, what the grit that's being used to sand this it's 80, right? Uh, 80, yeah. 80, but we, we would recommend they use at least a 120 because yeah. if not, if they if they burn, if they burn the hypalon and go through, it's done. So, so yeah, do probably a 120. And see, we're removing all the beans. See how it'll look so that we can re put the glue on both sides. So, this is the first coat of glue guys see here if you can smell what I smell now what we'll do is we'll wait a little bit and then we'll apply a second coat now after he does this completely while this is drying the, the actual boat can also be, uh, we can put the first coat on the boat itself as well. So you guys get an idea of what's going on. Everett's here still building out this tube. This is gonna be a Zodiac in Arctic Gray right here, 866 Arctic Gray.
All right, let's go back to the boat. All right, so let me give you a backdrop what's happening right now. We put two coats on the back of the rub rail, and we also put two coats on the actual tube after we sanded it. So we waited for it to dry up a little bit. It can't dry up too, too much. And now we're gonna go ahead and place the rub rail on, uh, so. Get a better angle over here so you guys can see what's going on. Now, one side was only really messed up, but we decided to take off the entire rub rail to do it right for this customer um, because we don't want to half-ass it. And now he won't have any issues on both sides going forward, you know? When Carlos pulled it off earlier, how hard it was, it was not hard at all. Now it should hold up a little bit better because we're using a better glue. And then what we'll do finally is uh, clean up the excess. We'll pull this tape here, clean the excess, and uh, you guys will see a finished product. I mean, kind of cool. I'm glad we, we kind of did this restoration. We haven't done stuff like this. We got to do more stuff like this, Carlos, soon. We'll do we'll do the, uh, the Zodiac. I think we should do the Zodiac and put that one on camera so you can see that. That's going to be a cool video. We got a few, right? The Zodiac. We Got the two A ones. We got the fifty one. I bought it from Madriaga. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should. We we can. I just I gotta find a little bit more time, guys. Well, here is the end product, guys. The customer. <laughs> my phone ran out of battery. I mean, those are guys that watch my channel you know that i was live while we were doing this and if i'll try to link that video but this is it guys we went live while we were doing this customers on the way right now uh, we're gonna see if uh he thinks this was amazing absolutely big difference huh um the the hypolon is a little old so some of the areas where the rub rail since it shrinks a little bit it got a little burnt so you see that you'll see that but Hey, having that said, guys, a hundred times better. And uh, I mean, look, look at remember all those things. Que pasó? Si, ya vienen camino. Everybody wants to leave. Everybody, everybody wants to leave. Bro, five minutes, bro. Relax. Damn it. Order, order in the court. All right, guys. Hey, listen. Don't forget to smash that like button. I'm going to put more videos like this on the end screen so you guys can check out more restorations that are much more thorough than this. So check them out. If you haven't seen that in this channel, you're going to see a lot more of it coming soon. Amazingness. That's what we do. Hey, amazingness. That's what we do. That's what we do, baby. So we, we have the customer here. Unbelievable. Did, did, My wife won't believe it. You can't believe how much we scrubbed and we couldn't get this off. And bam, beautiful. Did you expect it to get this good? Not that good. Let's walk, let's walk around it. I want to show you the rub rail. Look at the rub rail. Everything. Remember that it was all... How far did you drive to come make this happen? Four hours. Four hours. So that's the not only terrible. Place, only place I could find that could do a good job. <laughs> Look at that. This one, this one all hanging off. Not anymore. So listen, didn't you tell me you, you might consider selling this boat? Yeah. You want to give your information? Maybe they can buy it? Yeah, sure. Call Richard Shirley, 226-246-3000. All right, and I guess it's they can... In, it's up in Daytona Beach area. Daytona Beach, guys. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Shirley, guys. Amazingness. <laughs> Isn't this a crazy... You didn't, you didn't yeah. expect... It's crazy, guys. Very impressive. Hey, we're out of here. Hey, Alpha Monte. Beautiful. Hey, they didn't do nothing. Like the, they uh, watch me work. Hey, hold on. They watch me work. They didn't do nothing. 
Bro! Like YouTube. <laughs> Boom! <laughs>